Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Carter here, and today I am redoing a past series I have done. I actually want to kind of go in depth. These are going to be shorter videos, but more in depth videos as well. And that is the Arma 3 editor. Um, I know recently there was a sale for on Steam, and I figured a lot of people probably pick this game up. And uh, I know my favorite thing in this game by far is being able to edit missions and play them by myself and whatnot. So I figured I would give new updated tutorial. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So as you saw, I clicked on editor, clicked on a map. Uh, obviously, you can download different mod maps from the Steam Workshop. The three main mods I'll be working with today is uh, Ares mod, which is an editor extension. Uh, it's also a mission, like a Zeus extension. Uh, the Achilles mod, which kind of technically conflicts with a uh, Ares, but I use both of them at the same time. I've never really had a problem with it. And MCC, uh, I'll link those down in the description down below. Also, I use Ace, but that is not really required in this video or for editing at all really but uh, we might get into a further uh, tutorial on that in the future as for right now um, we're just gonna go over basic controls in the editor and then we'll in the future like later videos we will uh, really dive into different features within the editor so as you can see I'm moving around I can open up the map I can pick a different part of the map so we'll head to the desert and uh, so to move your camera, you just right click and drag. You can see I'm looking all around. To move forward, backwards, left and right is W, S, A, and D. To go up and down is Q is up, Z is down. So you can do all the mo motions with your left hand pretty much. And then camera rotation with your right hand. To speed up the camera, it's shift, so it's pretty much like running in a game, I guess. You hold shift to sprint. And then uh, that's about it for movement as far as camera movements go. Next on the right hand side, you'll see uh, this this bar essentially. You'll see this is what it'll show you default. It'll open NATO uh, and then go straight to men. We're gonna close that for now. So this is blue for, this is this gonna be like the US, uh, British, stuff like that whoever you have any mods you have for like quote unquote the good guys what, mo what most people call in this game um are gonna be here and then csat is gonna be this red diamond and if csat pacific fia yada 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 you can click it close it open it and you can go through all these tabs the green square is independent so that's going to be um the AAF forces, uh, you're going to have a few more. If you have the DLC for Tanoa, you'll have a Syndicate, uh, Looters for, no, yes, Looters for uh, the new Lenovo DLC, and uh, stuff like that. Next is the purple square, that is civilian, everything civilian. Um, the IDAP vehicles, if you have that DLC. And then the final one is this little kind of clover looking thing. That is the props. This is where all your buildings, and when if you're if you're building a base, this is where everything's going to come from for the most part. So we will go over how to build a fairly basic base, just showing you how to uh, build build stuff with this editor in the next episode. But for now, this is just a easy easy rundown on everything. So next, you can hit F2 to cycle through these, or you can, it'll say F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6. So if you hit F2, it'll bring you to the group assets. So this is the exact same thing, except instead of spawning individual entities, it'll spawn full squads, like such. So we will delete them. Next is triggers. Um, we're not really going to get too much into this right now, but this is something you can use in certain missions for certain certain different tasks, creating tasks, starting tasks, ending tasks, stuff like that. Uh, we may get into that in the future. Next is waypoints. Uh, there's different options here. We'll go into that in the future as well. Next is the probably the second most used 
uh, tab in the editor, and that is modules. This is where you have different options to create different game styles, get different uh, mission styles, uh, different things happening during the mission. That's where all this is going to happen. Um, we'll get into that in the future as well. And then next, if you click markers, it'll bring you to the map. And just like picking a soldier or a object, you can pick different things, lay it down, double click it, uh, change the size. So you could do two by two, and it'll make it bigger. There's flags, you can lay down flags for bases. So if there's a base here in Peros, you can drop it right there, and there it is. Hit M again, and it brings you back to the uh, editor. Hit M again, and it'll bring up the map, and there are the logos. If you want to delete something, you can simply click it and hit delete on your keyboard, or click and drag, and it'll select it, and then hit delete on your keyboard. Uh, that's it for the right bar. This bar will show you things. So if I lay down a ammo bear, you'll see him pop up in blue four. So this shows all placed entities. So if you place soldiers, it'll show up, you know, blue four, op four, independent or civilian. If you place structures, so we'll do, I don't know, click cemetery, hit a grave. It'll show up in empty. So this is how you can keep track of things. Uh, we'll delete these and I'll show you one more quick shortcut on the keyboard. We'll get more into this kind of stuff in the next episode. So if you lay something down and you you know don't want that or say you moved it on accident, just hit Control Z and it'll undo. So Control Z and it'll undo. So that's this bar pretty much explained. Um, this is just you can this has like all the major locations of the map. You can double click them and it'll take you to them. Uh, you can close this by hitting this arrow. You can close this one by hitting this arrow. Uh, this little, you know, graduation hat will also bring up tutorials, um, but they're they're all right. They're not great, they're, but they're all right. So scenario is going to be similar to like a Microsoft Word. You'll have new, open, save, save as. Uh, you can publish a mission to a Steam Workshop if you want to. You can export. We'll go over that later. Once you're, this is like when you're done with a mission. Um, edit, undo, redo, that's similar to control Z, stuff like that. Select all on screen, that's something I don't usually use. Uh, these are all kind of things that I'm not, I don't use that often, but we can look over in the future if that is something you're interested in. Um, vision mode, you can toggle it here so you can go to normal, um, thermal, stuff like that, but you can also toggle that by just hitting N. So N on your keyboard will change your vision mode and will bring up the map. After that, you can go to attributes. This is going to be like probably the third most important thing while making a mission. So if you click on general, it'll bring you with all these tabs. Most of these you probably won't use if you're just making a quick mission for yourself or for friends. But uh, the main one here is the independence allegiance. So if you have multiple factions within a mission, um, you can have the green guys be friendly with the blue and enemies with the red or friendly with the red and friendly with blue or friendly with red and enemies with blue. Um, so that's always an option. That's something you can do use to expand your missions, make it a little bit more interesting uh, and hit OK with that. Next is, inv oh, nope. Next is environment. This is where things can get pretty fun. You can change things. So we'll we'll use fog as an example. If you hit fog, lots of fog at start, and then the fog forecast at nothing, it will actually slowly decay. the The fog will go away after a while. But if you hit fog none at start and fog a lot at the end, it'll actually slowly um, bring up fog. So you can use that for things like rain. Just hit manual override, and you can choose how much rain you at the start. And how much you want in the forecast. Same with lightning. Just hit manual override and it'll give you the option. Waves, you can do the same thing. And wind as well. So, and you can actually choose the wind direction and things like that. After that, we will head to performance. Um, 
actually no we skip multiplayer but performance is something that i've never even touched to be honest it's something that 99.9% .9 of the time you don't need to even worry about but um yeah if if need be we can look over that in the future and then multiplayer i actually skipped over the main thing here is when making multiplayer missions the respawn and revive that's what the most people use it for other than that a lot of this is for super advanced missions other than that like i said revive respawn that's about it next is tools a um, lot more advanced stuff that we probably won't go over that that much but we can if we need to uh, settings is literally if you heard escape and look at your settings this is what it is video audio game yada 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 uh, you can hit play here if you want to test your mission you can play single player with briefing um, at camera position spectate or play in multiplayer uh, we'll go over that once we actually have a mission made and then once again help page so that actually no we'll go over one more quick thing we will open up this right bar here we will lay down a grave um so here's exactly what's in scenario right here uh undo re or redo undo and then this is the equivalent of this so this is your moving options so no widget translation widget rotation widget area scaling and area widget so this will do things like bring this up this uh, this you know so so you can do uh, precise movements uh, another option is just to hit spacebar and it'll cycle through them i personally just pretty much only use no widget i do everything manually and then uh, these are something you don't really need to worry about you can use this one surface snapping it's pretty pretty nice um because it'll automatically so uh, if I bring this onto a hill here, this is a terrible example, but usually it'll uh, angle it so it actually matches the uh, the hill, the hill's angle. So that's pretty pretty convenient. But unfortunately, this this asset doesn't do that. Um, so we'll delete that. Uh, translation rotation. We'll get into this in the future. Intel is going to be your weather uh, map. Once again, you can hit M. Flashlight is gonna be if you're editing at nighttime. And once again, vision mode, you just put N. So that's about it for the basic controls, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Uh, we'll definitely be diving more into the more interesting stuff in the future, but these are the very basic controls, um, the very basic rundown of the editor. And like I said, in the next episode, we'll start actually making a mission for yourself and friends. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you hit, enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you have any questions, suggestions, comments, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, this was Carter. Peace out.